I once read that you should marry the person who makes you feel the way you feel when you see your food coming at a restaurant. <laughs> you may laugh, but that is genuinely the way I feel every night I get home and see Clive. And not just because he usually has dinner on the table. <laughs> but because you are just my best friend in all the world. You are so fiercely bright. You're so funny. You're so dedicated to everything you do. And you're so unswervingly supportive. Plus you have great hair. And he makes the best sticky toffee pudding. So, Clive and I were close friends before we officially got together. And once back when he was in the friend zone, we were at Scouts and strapped into the 3G swing at Gilwell Park. A 3G swing is kind of a giant harness that suspends you high in the air with another person. And one of you has to pull on this cord that would see you plummeting towards the ground and hopefully swing back and forth. So me and Clive were sitting in this swing. He was too scared to pull that cord. So in the end, I stepped up and I, I did it. But the reason that I'm telling this story is because I feel like marriage is a little bit like sitting side by side in that 3G swing. It's incredibly exciting. We don't really know what lies ahead. But I do know that being beside you makes everything better. And that I am never, ever going to regret pulling that cord. the joining in matrimony of Clive Eldon Moverley and Claire Louise Davis. I, Clive Eldon Moverley. I, Clive Eldon Moverley. Take you, Claire Louise Davis. Take you, Claire Louise Davis. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Claire Louise Davis. Take you, Clive Eldon Moverley. Take you, Clive Eldon Moverley. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Claire, there is no combination of words to explain what you mean to me. There is no composition of music that would do justice to the way you make me feel. And there is no amount of money that equals what you are worth to me. The only thing I can give you that can come close is this promise. I promise to spend the rest of my life showing you what you mean to me. I promise that my actions will speak louder than any poem, any song or any expensive gift ever would. And over time, these actions will add up to something more than anything anyone could have ever given me. 
Here today, I'm committing myself to spend the rest of my life in pursuit of these actions, and I'll try everything, from cooking you dinner, to traveling the world with you, or just being there for you when you've had a hard day. I will do all these things and more, and I promise that I will never stop. Clive, I remember the first time I saw you, how familiar you seemed, like we'd met before, but there was no way I could have known in that moment what was to come. That I would fall for you, that you would be my best friend, the love of my life, and that we'd be standing here in front of the people we love most as we vow to love each other forever. Because that's my promise, to love you as constantly as I have for the last 10 years, for the rest of our lives. To laugh with you, make plans with you, climb mountains with you, and shelter beside you. I promise to trust in us above all else through good times and hard times and share in your joy and your sorrow. I promise to remember, no matter our aspirations and our dreams, that happiness can always be found in the here and now with you. And just like when I met you, I have no way of knowing what's to come. But I promise to stand with you not only as your wife, but your comfort, your true friend, and your guiding light, as you are to me. I, Clive, give you, Claire, this ring as a sign of my love and commitment. I will cherish our friendship, trust you and respect you, and love you faithfully through the best and the worst. What may come, I will always be there, as I have given you my hand to hold, and this ring to wear, so I share my life with yours. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written word. Marriage is a promise which you have both just taken and has been made in the hearts of two people that clearly love one another. And now, it is my privilege to declare that you are now husband and wife, and sir, you may now kiss your bride. I'd like to start off by saying um, how incredible it is to see you all here today. Um, it means the world to me and Claire you can all take time out of your super busy lives, make the journey here and spend the day with us. Um, you're all here because in one way or another you're particularly special to me and Claire. You guys have all helped shape us into the people that we are today and without you here um, we might not be standing as husband and wife. most important person in the room, Claire. Game of Thrones getter, Lost Series Explainer, Explorer Scout Introducer, I Lost the Game Acceptor, Confidence Booster, Argument Settler, Homework Gremlin, A Ski Barrier Attacker, Volunteer Present Opener, Teacher, Fat versus Thin Squirrel Describer, Beautiful princess, <laughs> buddy, legend, inspiration, and my best friend. I'm sure you didn't really expect to hear from me today because this isn't really my thing but I just have a few thank yous that are really close to my heart that I wanted to share. First, what are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> Sit down! <laughs> Firstly to Mary and Tony, my new in-laws. Just for all the lovely memories we've made over the years, you have both changed my life in more ways than you would care to take credit for. 
so thank you so much. To my unparalleled bridesmaid, Emma, who's just such a ray of sunshine in your life. Absolute pillar of support. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> my brother Tom, he is just the most loving brother you could imagine. Just, I'm so lucky to have not just one amazing guy looking out for me, but two, four, eight. My mum and dad, who have been together since they were teenagers. You filled our home with love and laughter, and you instantly make life one of the family. But most importantly, you showed me how to be a team, and that relationships are all about trust. Good news. And mum, you taught me to never settle for second best, which I certainly have not done today. I've always wanted to live a happy life, and I know that sounds really, really obvious, but I think that's quite an underrated thing today in our lives. Um, everyone wants a new car, a better job, lots more money, um, but not many people actually stop and think about what makes them genuinely and truly happy. Now, I don't know what job I'll have in 10 years or how much money we'll earn, but I do know I'll be truly and genuinely happy. Because I have been ever since I met Claire 12 years ago. Not many people have the luck of knowing their other halves for 12 years before they get married, but I have. And picking one thing from all that time that sums up what Claire really means to me and the type of person she is has been absolutely impossible. Because there isn't just one thing, there are hundreds. She is kind, she's humble, Courageous, funny, intelligent, driven, loving, beautiful, and best of all, she does know every episode of Friends just as well as me. And those aren't even the best bits. The best bits are all the bits and pieces I feel every day, the tiny moments that are gone in a second and I can't really put into words, like the way you walk up to bed when you're tired, <laughs> or the way you arrange your food to get that perfect Instagram shot. You put all these things together and you get what it feels like to be with Claire and it's a feeling I never want to lose. Claire, you've been beyond perfect as my girlfriend, my best friend and my fiance. And I know you're going to continue to go beyond my expectations as my new wife. I'm so lucky and proud to be with you. You are someone who is always willing to go that extra mile. You have no limits to your dreams and ambitions. And I always know you'll get there, no matter what. So, if you'd all like to join me in raising a glass to my absolute hero, Mrs. Claire Daverly. What can I say about the pair of you? Clearly you're devoted to each other, everybody can see that, and we've known that forever, haven't we? You're so compatible. I've tried to think of some advice for you two, and you know what, it, it's impossible. You don't need any advice from me. Everything you've done is perfect. Everything that you do is well thought through. You plan everything. You don't need advice from us, because you are nailing it. I'm really glad you found the best possible partner in Claire, and I do mean that. They really balance each other so perfectly and, and are models to the rest of us. And I've said it on multiple occasions, I'm sure you'll all agree, but they do seem like the perfect couple. Annoyingly so, but you're perfect, like absolutely perfect. It's unbelievable. And um, I'm certain you'll continue to make all the right decisions moving forward. And I think you'll have a lot of fun on that.